Hi and welcome to my channel the JS Ninja. So now in this video we'll be signing users up. So let's begin with it but before moving on let's just first run our application because we didn't do it in our previous video. So here I have my terminal let me just do npm start and it will start running. So I'll have to open this in my browser. So I'll do localhost 3000 and let's wait for it. In the meanwhile let's just create a sign up component i'll uh, not rename it i'll just have to create new file and our website is loaded let's just go and create a new file signup.js and now i'm going to show you one magic i'll do rcc to create a class component and when i press enter you see i have my class component already written up so i'm using uh, here rcc which is basically uh, which comes from uh, react snippets will basically give me a few options to create class component functional components and so on this is a vs code extension basically and i'll link the extension down below in the description so do check that out this is my sign up component created awesome so now let's check our app we have a few error it says module not found because abbot css again uh, we deleted in the previous session uh, in the previous uh, video so let me just remove it we don't need this also we don't need the logo and let me just remove this as well awesome so i can just type running over here right now and let's save it so let me just go and check now another module cannot found app.css let me refresh we removed it in app.js okay let me just check if i have saved it I have it's taking some time to compile so finally it has compiled but I think I do have some error yes you know resolve service worker because in my index.js file again I have to remove this I removed service worker file and I should remove this as well and if I save now, I think everything should work. If I refresh, now we have this running text. So great, everything is working. And now let's just start coding up our UI. So I'll quickly code our UI and I'll quickly just fast forward when I finish, right? So you can just go along and copy. Great, so I have my UI ready now. You can just uh, pause the video and copy from here. Now we can start writing our logic. So first let's uh, write our state. I will just quickly write my state, which will have display name, uh, which will be an empty string. We'll have email, which will be an again empty string. We'll have password, which will be again an empty string. And now I'll have to write handle change. So if you note over here, I'm basically using same uh, the same uh, event handler for all of these uh, these input values right so let's see how it works uh, what i'll do is i'll just grab the name as well as the value from event.target right and if you notice here i have this name which is just as same as what is inside the state right we have display name as well as the name for each and every input is same as the state so what I have to do is just simply do this dot set state and I'll just put my name over here whatever the name is it will come over here be it email display name or whatever and I'll just set my value over here like this and I have to just get my display name uh, as well as email as well as password from the state great so I think everything should work the spelling is wrong over here awesome so i think everything is uh, working now and let me just uh, use this component in my uh, app.js i'll import it over here import sign up from sign up 
and it is use this component sign up i save it and refresh you see everything is working fine so let me just check the styles as well if everything is there the style is also there but my class is actually wrong it should be sign up login if i save refresh and now you see i have a pretty sign up form let me just open the console as well dock it on the right and don't worry about this error this is coming from one of the extensions right so don't worry about this we have our name email password and what not right so let me just give the placeholders as well so that it's easier place holder folder it should be a uh, name and this should be email this should be password email and this should be password so now our form is ready if i refresh i have the place folders as well form is completed right so now i have to basically just handle this submit of the form so i'll create the handle submit uh, function over here and what we will do is we'll first do an event dot prevent default prevent default so that our form does not submit and our page does not get loaded and now i'll have a try catch over here because now the magic of firebase comes in i'll have error over here right and i'll just basically do a console log over here and this will show me error if any error comes up cool and i'll also have to do this dot set state display name equals to empty string obviously when the form is submitted successfully we'll have to make each and everything an empty string password should be an empty string awesome now so here comes the magic of our uh of our uh of our firebase so what we want to do is we will basically say await and we we'll need the auth from firebase so i hope i have imported it so i have to import auth from my firebase.js file over here so let's import it first and then export it import uh, firebase slash auth and now what i'll do is i'll basically have to initialize that as well export const i do auth equals to firebase dot auth so now i have basically initialized my auth as well from firebase so now i can just import it in my sign up i do import auth from firebase awesome so now what i can do is i can basically call auth dot and here is this method create user with email and password so i'll just simply call this method and let's uh, give the email as well as the password to it let's grab it from state const email password and we'll grab it from state and again it this function has to be an async function because we are again using the await keyword right so before even uh, getting it work what we have to do is we have to enable authentication in a firebase uh, console so i'll go to console dot firebase dot google dot com and let's open so here is my react firebase auth project let's open this and here we have this authentication for this particular project we we'll go over here and we'll just have to do one thing and it is as easy as this and we'll just set up sign in method uh not not over here we just have to go to sign in method over here and here we just have to do email password we have to enable it that's it email password let's sign in we don't want to enable it we just want to enable the email password and this is as easy as it comes and 
if I now refresh over here, if everything is working perfectly, let me just sign up. I'll do Akash. I'll do a at the rate a dot com. I'll do one two three four five something one two three four five six. Sign up. And nothing is happening. Let's go over here and see in my authentication in my users. Voila. You see now we have a user which is authenticated in our Firebase. A new user with this email ID and it is just created and the user id is this it is automatically created now we have basically created our user id and one more thing we can actually get the user from here so this returns an object and inside this is the user so if we just console log this user you'll see we will get the user so let me just refresh over here let me just remove everything. Let's say b b at the rate b.com one two three four five six sign up. Let's just wait. You see the user is returned from Firebase. So it has all of this stuff. This is the email b at the rate b.com and let's go and check in our Firebase. Let's refresh this and we should have another user. So it's loaded and now we have another user b at the rate b.com. So this was it guys for this video. If you like the video, smash that like button and hit subscribe for the next upcoming video. Till then, bye bye and take care.